Okay, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. It's Tuesday. We're going to do a Rashi from the third Aliyah of the Combined Parshios. Uh, yesterday, Parshios Bahar, we started to talk a little bit about um, people who become impoverished. We talked about it yesterday in terms of selling off ancestral territory. One of the persons, one of the things that a person might be led to do uh, if they were to be impoverished is to sell off their ancestral land or to sell themselves into slavery. Um, if you were in shul this morning, the Rashi I learned at the end of Davening uh, also had to do with this theme and, uh, and uh, with a beautiful Rashi, but for those who were there, I don't want to repeat that one, but we will do a different Rashi. Um, also about poverty and something else that people might be led to do. A person who becomes impoverished might be led to want to take a loan uh, from another person. And we are warned that when a person comes to us in that state to, to get a loan, uh, that is, of course, forbidden for us to lend money with ribis, to lend money with interest. This is the Rashi we learned this morning after davening. And one of the things we're prohibited from doing as we help our friend who is impoverished, don't take from him any um, interest. So many beautiful angles to this puzzle, so many beautiful Rashi's. Uh, for the sake of time, I just want to focus on one. Included in this pasuk about not taking interest is that we should fear God. I want to learn this Rashi because it's connected to the Rashi I want to do on uh, Tupsukim later. It's instinct, human instinct, to go after interest. If you're lending your money out to somebody else, it's the natural way of the world to expect that you don't do that for free, that when you get your money back, that you get your money back plus a little bit, that there's a cost for a person borrowing your money. And so even though this person's in an impoverished state, the heart of the person will be led towards that natural human instinct. And therefore, a uh, person would be more heter la'atzmo bishvil ma'osav shu betelos etzlo, l'ficha chutzrach lomar v'yerei samalohecha. A person can kind of find all kinds of rationales and reasonings inside themselves to want to go ahead and do this and to lend money with interest. And therefore, the Torah reinforces that even though this is an interpersonal kind of mitzvah, you should have a larger context above you to fear HaKadosh Baruch Hu that would prevent you from coming on uh, to doing those kinds of things like lending money with interest, which is something that lies in your heart where it will rationalize it, explain it away, and lead you to do it. You need a certain amount of Yura Salukim in your heart in order to prevent you from going down that very natural path. What this Rashi is, is indicating to us, what the V'yarei Semelohecha is indicating, the need to include that in this puzzle, which most other mitzvahs in the Torah don't have. You don't have a mitzvah which says, uh, you know, uh, don't hit your friend, V'yarei Semelohecha. We don't have an extortion to, to try to, um, we don't have the Torah going out of its way to try to tell us to fear God when it comes to other mitzvahs. What Rashi is telling us is when the mitzvah is particularly difficult and it's something that the heart of a person is easily led to rationalize or to explain away or to go down that path because that's the instinct of a human being. We need an extra measure of yiras elokim. We need an extra measure of awe and fear of God and of his mitzvahs and of his system to really buck that trend that our heart is trying to go down. So this Rashi is already acknowledging, this pasuk, Yeresim Lukaf, is acknowledging that the mitzvah of ribis is one that is very hard to uphold. Okay, keep that in the back of your mind. We're going to learn another Rashi now, which I think is connected and supported by it. So Torah goes on to tell us we should definitely lend, but we should lend without interest, etc. The end of this whole series of psukim about not lending with interest is, I am the Lord your God that took you out of Egypt to take you to this land, to give you the land of Canaan. I am Hashem. Now, many mitzvahs end with Ani Hashem Elokeichem, or, or you should remember that I am God. We've seen that already, and that's not uncommon. What is uncommon is that it reminds us that it's not only that I am God, but I'm the God that took you out of Egypt. Why does Hashem have to remind us in the context of ribis, in the context of interest, not only that he is God, not only that we should fear God, but that he's the God that took us out of Egypt. What is taking us out of Egypt has to do with preventing us from lending other Jews with interest. So Rashi gives a number of different explanations. So one of them is, So to... Um, 
just like when God took us out of Egypt, he discerned between firstborns and non-firstborns. Meaning HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows the heart of the human being. HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows deep down what's inside. He knows behind the scenes what's going on. So lest you try to rationalize inside, God is going to see behind that. And God is going to come to know the truth of why you lent in a certain way with interest, without interest, how you rationalize it within yourself. There's no hiding from God. That, I think, dovetails nicely on the Yeresim Elokecha, which we saw earlier, you should fear God. A lot of this has to do with what's in your heart, and therefore you should fear God because only God knows your heart. And now we see that reinforced here. Only God is the one that knows to discern the true intentions of your heart, just like he did in Egypt, where he discerned between the Chors and Eno Bechors. Okay? But now another Rashi to support that. Rashi says another interpretation of Sherotesi as, as Osan Eretz Mitzrayim. Why does it remind us here that God took us out of Egypt? To tell us, Al menash tekablu aleichem mitzvosai, we're reminded here in the context of interest in specific that we're supposed to fear God, we're supposed to remember God, and we're supposed to know that God knows our true intentions. All of that is 100% true. But Rashi says there's another reason why we're reminded that God is not just our God, but the God that took us out of Egypt. And that is because we're supposed to remember, as we saw in Rashi last week, that the whole purpose of taking us out of Egypt was not just to be free people, but to be people that observe the mitzvahs of the Torah, to be people that observe the commandments of the Torah, that have a relationship with them. Hashem. That's the whole reason he took us out. Were it not for that, he wouldn't have taken us out. And sometimes those mitzvahs can be very, very difficult. Sometimes those mitzvahs can weigh upon us. Sometimes those mitzvahs go against the natural instinct of the human being. Sometimes those mitzvahs don't make sense to us. There are going to be a whole host of reasons why we don't want to observe those mitzvahs. Why in our rational minds we would say, ah, we don't need that anymore. It's outdated. It's, uh, it's this. It's not relevant. It's not needed for me. I can do without it. All kinds of things that when they're difficult for us that we could go ahead and say. And this is one of those mitzvahs that's very difficult for us. That's why I think the third Rashi fits with the first two, especially the first one. You could find all kinds of rationales in your head. Why to lend with interest? Why? Because it's a natural human instinct. It fits perfectly with the last Rashi. Rashi says that Hashem has to remind us that he took us out of Egypt. That the whole purpose of our life is Torah and mitzvahs because there are sometimes mitzvahs that are very difficult to keep. And this is one of them. Very, very difficult mitzvah to keep, to prevent ourselves from that natural instinct of lending with interest. And when you're in your heart, you're going down that path of lending with interest. You're not only supposed to remember, okay, God is my God. You're not only supposed to remember, okay, God knows how to discern the heart of man, knows what's in my true intentions, but also try to remember that God took us out of Egypt in order to observe all mitzvahs, including this one, which is very difficult. And hopefully when you think of all those things, you come to prevent yourself from violating that particular command and do what is necessary, which is to help another person who's in need without taking advantage of them at the very same time. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.